What's up, our dog? Come on in, guys. Luke! Z! J Fern! Just get my thumbnail set up. Oh, I always make this mistake. Pack rat! Luke and Kenneth B. What's up? Make my thumbnail too big. It's only allowed to be two megabytes. The thumbnail. Two is it. And it's 4.2. So. so, gotta open up the editing software. Shrink it on down. See if this works. There we go. Export. How's everybody doing tonight? King of the YouTube breaks. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Good to see you. Pile on in, guys. I want to hear all your stories. Have you found update? If so, have you pulled anything good? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you going to get a hobby, a jumbo? Uh, what's the story? I want to know all about it. Packrat wants to see some Kikuchis. I'm going to pull an executive order and say no, sir. Uh-oh. Computer froze. Well, this program throws more like it. Export, you gonna export? There we go. There we go, okay. Now I can add the thumbnail. Guys, it's just, uh, there. Just doing this on a laptop sucks. It really does. PC, mouse, mouse and keyboard. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now we got the thumbnail going. Everything's going great. Trent Grisham SP looks nice, says Robert. I don't think I've seen it. I want to see it, though. I'm going to have to look it up. Now that you said that, I'll look it up right now. And we'll discuss Trent Grisham SP. If the internet will work. It better be work. <laughs> We're going to need all the bandwidth we can get. Elkanon, what's up, brother? Bought a hobby today for 99 Oh, that's a good price. Because I've been seeing it for 120 All right, eBay's not wanting to work. But what I was going to do is talk to you guys about some of the off-season predictions. I wonder why the internet's not wanting to work. Okay, but anyhow, did you guys happen to check out that ESPN story? ESPN, Jumbo Box was selling for two forty five. dollars Yeah, that's about right. Uh, here, here's why, guys. I've heard that the autographs are only p falling about one per case with the hobby. So, initial thoughts, maybe avoid the hobby? I don't know if that's a fact. That's, that's a rumor. Circulating around. Elkanon got three jumbos of update. Got the Yu Chang, Danny Jansen, and Jack Mayfield. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to get a couple boxes of jumbos. Just for fun. But I don't know. Jumbos were 185 at your LCS. That's a steal. I mean, at least for the time being... Who knows if it goes down more or what happens. The the pressure, the market pressure on individual cards, selling of individual cards through eBay especially, will determine what this stuff does. Because if none of the cards are selling for very much, it's just going to keep dropping. 
and there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of love in the hobby for the update. But it's still fun to open some boxes. I mean, we're not going to spend our life savings on it. But it's still fun to open some and pull some SPs, hopefully. those the There's still good money in the SPs and the SSPs. And some, some autos. There are some. Hall of Famers, cut signatures, things like that. Some rookie stuff, I guess. But it's the same with Gallery and Platinum. You know, not highly collectible, but just kind of fun to do. I mean, you can spend 30 bucks going out to eat, and then that's it. The food gets digested, and then it comes back out. You know, 30 bucks, at least 30 bucks on a break. You got something to show for it. You got long term entertainment. You can go back and rewatch it. Maybe you get a banger. It's my thoughts. Lou Bob cloth card. Oh, yes. Al Kanan says, Well, I, yeah, this is what he goes. This is why I've switched to Pokemon primarily. I can double my investment, where with baseball, I almost always lose. It's interesting. I mean, it, you know, you're an expert on that stuff. I don't know anything about Pokemon, but I do have a couple of friends who collect. And they seem to have the same thoughts as you about it right now. However, you know, if a bad Pokemon product comes out or if the market or the economy drops, the same thing ha will happen to Pokemon. Cards and collectibles are like that. I think they're kind of tied to stocks too. Honestly, if you see the stock market going down, cards are going to go down. It's just general economy, how much money people have to spend. Is there fear? Is there uncertainty? Prices will drop. People don't want to spend as much money. You know, it, the, the whole of the economy plays into it. Is it off season? You know, all that kind of stuff. Not a fan of Bowman Platinum, says John. Well, the last few releases have been kind of meh. You know, we're going to rip some here, but they're, they're really affordable in a break. So... Plus, with the Bowman Platinum, spreads it out a little bit more. More teams with the prospects can can be good. Same thing with going across formats with the update, going to the triple threads, contenders, different prospects, different teams. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. With Pokemon, you don't have fluctuations based on performance. It's mostly market-based. Good point. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I feel you, John. Just, uh, just, you know, spouting out. Pikachu won't ever need Tommy John. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's true. Oh, it's good. To be with you guys. Let's release the stress. Think about baseball. Here's what I'm thinking about. What are the Dodgers going to do next year? Because the ESPN article I've been reading says it's it's the what could they do and what will they probably do. You know, first off, what could they do? All of the what could they do's involve the same kind of players. Every Almost every one of them is signed Trevor Bauer. They could. Like, Trevor Bauer's the guy everybody's talking about. Lindor, there's talk of Dodgers even. How unfair would that be, man, if they get more awesome players? Trevor Bauer and Lindor, that'd be disgusting. For me, <laughs> for the rest of the league, I mean, unless you're a Dodgers fan, then you're just like, whoop, whoop. But, yeah, it says, you know, what do they predict that the Dodgers will do? Resign Turner and Peterson. Um, they want to open up a spot for Gavin Lux. So Chris Taylor can fill a utility role. Next up, Padres. The lineup is set. They just need to add some pitching depth. Maybe sign Trevor Power and Kike Hernandez. I don't know. I don't know about the Kike part, but Giants. 
Roll the dice on some second tier starting pitchers. Looks like they're not planning on doing a whole lot with that Giants team. Sign Rich Hill and Jose Quintana. Ugh. Okay, I suppose. I bet you Lindor gets to the Giants or something. Even though they have plenty of... plenty of, I mean, Glaber and all that, but... Something tells me he's going to go to a big team. They're talking. They're already talking that free agency this year is going to be minimal. Teams lost a bunch of money. They're not going to want to be spending a ton of money. I mean, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Dodgers talking about possibly signing Real Muto, trading David Dahl, making a couple moderate free agents, and they're talking potentially trade Arenado. Story. And then punt 2021. I know Alcanon doesn't want to hear that. What do you What are you thinking? If you're still in here, Alcanon, is there talk of a rebuild? How likely? You found ten blasters of Series One and five of Series Two at Walmart in Texas today. Really? I haven't seen Series One or Series Two anywhere. Man, I'll tell you what. People are still out hounding the cards. I was there, I spent all day Friday morning out and about looking for cards in between making videos. So I made that first video, went out. All I could find was this, they didn't have any update. And so I made the video of the platinum and opening some car, some friend mail and boxes and whatever. And then I went back out, canvassed, found some update. And, and man, there were people just ready to snipe. There were four people waiting at 6 a.m. to get into Walmart. It, it's it's a frenzy still. It's just getting more and more and more. And at Meyer, I went there and grabbed some some of this update, man. People were right behind me, and they just grabbed everything that I didn't grab. And it was all gone by the time I turned around. It was crazy. If he leaves, absolutely rebuild, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty wild. O's looking to reduce payroll. <laughs> Poor Chris Davis, man. He what a bust. Diamondbacks, they're looking for a center fielder, starting pitcher, and bullpen depth. Predict they predict that they might get Jackie Bradley Jr. So I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's not that big of a deal, in my opinion. It's a good fielder, but you know, it's not that great of a hitter. Cubs talking about keeping the core five. Rizzo, Chris Bryant, Schwarber, Baez, Contreras. Or they they might trade two of the five. Right there. So, man. We might see some big changes for the Cubs next year. Cardinals, potential. They could potentially sign George Springer, DJ LeMahieu, and... Nelson Cruz, if a universal DH is approved. Man, that would be crazy. The Cardinals, that'd be the Cardinals getting dead serious. That's that. Those are some big moves right there. But the prediction is they'll re-sign Wainwright, which may be time to move on from, from Wainwright. I don't know. Uh, re-sign Yachty. Both of those guys getting real old. And sign Jonathan Scope. He was actually a pretty pleasant surprise this year for the Tigers. He did all right. I don't know about his batting average, but he was cranking some home runs. Cincinnati Reds find some hitters who do something besides hit home runs, walk, or strike out. What do they predict? That they'll sign Didi and Chatwood. <laughs> but getting some high contact hitters like Michael Brantley and Tommy LaStella would do nice, so they say. Brewers talking about bringing a couple big bats in. That would help Kristen Yelich, possibly acquiring Josh Bell from the Pirates or signing Tommy LaStella and re-signing Ryan Braun. I don't know about Ryan Braun, man. I think he's getting really close to washed. You know what I'm saying? Like He pretty much just goes up against lefties. He's always been a lefty masher, but he's getting old, breaking down. Steroids break down the body, too. And there's obviously that issue. But they've got the centerpiece, Yelich. 
and and Hater, but if they trade Hater, there's talk about that too. So Pirates, oh, not looking good. Pirates not looking good. They're they're a ways away. Braves re-sign Ozuna or trade for a starting pitcher. Yeah, they're really close. Probably won't make a ton of moves. Marlins possibly signing George Spring and LeMahieu. I'd be shocked if they did anything like that. Usually they don't go crazy. You know, I, the Miami Marlins typically, typically what the Mar, Mar, and ownership has a lot to do with this, but typically what they do is they sign a bunch of big free agents. And then they just trade them all away for draft picks and stuff. So they have a super low payroll. So they can just, you know, it's a money-making scheme. They're not really trying to compete. I know you guys don't like hearing that. If it, William, I'm looking in your direction if you're here. But that's kind of what they, that's what they did last time. They made a bunch of big free agent moves and then just traded them all away. Just to have the lowest salary in the league. Yeah, yeah. Sports Kids is on top of it. Jay Fern's got some stories about Ryan Braun behind the scenes. I'd love to hear it. Yeah, Jeter is the dark horse there. Like, he definitely wants to win. You would think. He is a winner. He's a champion. So, maybe he does some things. You, I don't know that they're that. I mean, they did make the playoffs, though, didn't they? It's crazy to even think that. I still think of, think of them as the worst team in the league, maybe besides the Orioles and the Tigers. But they're talking about just not really doing a whole lot with the potential of signing Springer and LeMahieu, but re-signing Pedro Baez and Mike Zunino. They need some pitchers, but Sixto looking real good. Sixto is crazy. I think he's going to be awesome. Phillies talking about re-signing Real Muto. Not a, not a ton that they can really do there. I don't know. Payroll situations. But, yeah. I don't know. Just a little bit of talk there. All right. If you guys are ready. It's time to do the randomizer. We got lots of boxes to open. How many boxes? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen boxes we're opening. Hopefully we get some goodies. All right. Gonna mix these up. Just get them out of order. And we'll go to the team list and we'll do it three times. once, popping twice, and thrice, Tigers on top, hope to say that again sometime in the near future, within the next five years, I'm realistic, one, oh, I already got that out of order, sorry, I didn't roll yet. Yeah, we're, we're going a little later tonight. Usually we go earlier than this, but hey, it's Saturday. My wife had to work. She just got home, so it's a perfect time. Rolling. Four. Four times. There's one. Two. Three. And four. Derek W on top with those Tigers. Bada boom, putting them in order. Bada bing. Starting on top, Diamondbacks, Christopher E, Braves, John C, Orioles, Wesley D, Red Sox, Michael M, Cubs, Tim M, White Sox, Sean I, Reds, Derek W, Indians, George V, Rockies, Wesley D, Tigers, Derek W, Astros, Derek W, Royals, Brian A, Angels, Roy G, Dodgers, Matthew B, Marlins, Dennis B, Brewers, Jeff H, Twins, Tim M, Mets, Chris B, Yankees, Chris H, Athletics, Ricky E, Phillies, Joey B, Pirates, Matthew B, Padres, Kenneth B, 
Giants David H, Mariners Robert H, Cardinals Jordan P, Rays Scott B, Rangers Chad P, Blue Jays John C, Nationals Brian A. Good luck, everybody. Let's go. Aloha, Roy G. Thank you for breaking with us. Would you consider the key rookies, key rookie SPs, to be rookie cards, even though the base of them are rookie debuts? Hmm. Well, the rookie SPs are technically rookies. So are the rookie debuts, kind of. The rookie debut, I don't know, it's... It's tough, but I consider, you know, the SP, the rookie SPs, actual rookie cards. You know, it's not a base, per se. But it's much more collectible. Much less affordable, and much fewer people have them, so they're more desirable. It's, it goes back to a supply and demand thing. All right, let me drop the link for you guys so you can double check your teams if you need it. It's also on strikerbreaks.com. The homepage, the list here is on the homepage. There you go. Is that a mistake? Timing out? Timing out old Roy there, Brandon? Got the sheet. Brandon, you opened a jumbo and got one Randy and one Grisham auto of Dobnak. One Randy and one Grisham. Auto of Dobnet, gotcha. Seems like a lot of people are getting the good rookies. Which makes me wonder if they're just really common, those two. Like people are talking about Rosarina and Grisham. All right, ladies and gentlemen. What do you say? How about we do all these hanger boxes first? What do you say? What'll it be? Sweeping. Locking. No, you don't have to do a subscription. Go to strikerbreaks.com. That's where I do the breaks, but I don't have them listed all the time. I only do a couple of them a week. But if you want to get in on the Patreon, the Patreon is here to give me support so I can keep doing this, keep making videos. The card game is expensive. And as a reward, I let the patrons know when I list a break. There you go. But strikerbreaks.com is where you buy into the breaks. Good luck, everybody. You got an Albert Pujol Super Fractor from 2020 Chrome. Is that any good? Uh, super fractors are all good. I don't know how much that would be worth. You'd have to go. It's tough to get a comp on something like that, but I don't know. Like maybe just type in Albert Pujols one of one or something like that. You can get a comp from a comparison from a different series or a different release. Maybe find out how much something like that would sell for. Since it's not a rookie, it's not that collectible, but it is a Hall of Famer. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. Brendan Mker. Got a Yelich All Star game. Have you guys seen much of this? You've been watching breaks? Lizardo debut. Kyle Lewis debut. Robert H. got 
them today. Polar bear and a squirrel. Got the Judge All-Star game. Cal Ripken. Five hundred. I don't know if you can get that much for it. If you can get five hundred, <laughs> that's uh, that's a good price. Cotton. It's not an SP, is it? It's it's so hard to tell if these are SPs these days. Eighty-eight. It's a regular. It looks like an SP. We got a foil. Greg Holland. Rainbow foil. Twenty years of the captain. Going to Jeter. Going to Jeter. It is Jeter, I mean. Yelich. Grandal. Key Boom. Another Jeter. There's lots of Jeter stuff in here. If you're a New York fan, it's a good product for you. Joey Bart prospects. Got a judge. Pete, home run derby. Do you guys like the minimal design of the home run derby and the rookie debuts, how the print is very small? I kind of like that. Trout, active leaders, like all that stuff is really small. It's more focused on the photography. What's up, Matthew? David pulled a 2020 Chrome or Rosarina red number to five. Holy cow. Probably worth a grade. Anything like that, man. Probably worth a grade. Then again, you gotta you gotta consider is he just like the hot news right now? Like if you send that card away to get graded, it's an expensive one. So you'll have to do it like um, a more of a priority grading so you'll get it back quicker those more expensive cards that are between like 499 and a thousand i think so you'll get it back quicker that's all that's good yeah it's tough to say what the market's going to do for cards i mean it was just skyrocketing for so long there i mean not so long a matter of what it's been going up for a couple of years, but then it just kind of hit a peak. Who knows if it's the actual peak during the CV thing. But if we get locked down again, which is looking more and more likely that we're going to get locked down again, we might have another peak. Kyle Lewis or who, I mean, who knows? God, it's, it's just un, it's, it's impossible to predict the future right now. <laughs> Yeah, will it hold value? I, I don't know. Chrome Turkey of Brinson. Oh, we got a good in here. Check this one out. Oh, it's a Mother's Day pink Andy Burns rookie. Going to the Blue Jays. That one's numbered to 50. That's a tough hit. Going to John. Redeem the bow cracked ice or sell it? Good question. Clemente, Carter, Sutsugo, and Old Man McCutcheon. You bought into a four box break with the Angels, probably pulled every card but the Adele. Well, there's a Tyler Stevenson, the number one prospect. Looks like you get one of those per box. I don't know how it works with the hobby boxes. We've got a Nico debut because I haven't watched any other breaks of this. I like to stay fresh. Sometimes if it's a confusing product with a bunch of prospects, maybe like an early Bowman or Bowman draft, I'll watch some other breaks. 
I used to watch a lot more breaks, but now I like to stay fresh and have genuine excitement for the cards. I think that's important. You can't fake that stuff. If you do, people can tell they don't like it. Mike Trout. I would never do that anyway. Another Mike Trout. So many Trouts. It's like the 2020 Tops Update series should be renamed 2020 Jeter and Trout. I haven't seen any blasters of Bowman Platinum Z. Stone! What's happening? Get a few in hobby, Anthony V says, about the prospect card. So I'm guessing that retail is going to be the way to go to, to mine for prospect cards, if that's what you're into. The Randy! Got the Randy! Going to Scott. Congratulations, Scott. All right. Jumbo is one per pack. Oh, really? Yeah, I that my, that in the last video, that Wander Black Cracked Ice is the first redemption I've gotten back. And I've got several at both Panini and Tops. Some of them have been gone for like eight months. Got the Lux rookie debut. Going to Matthew B. Battery bath. Okay. Just haven't seen that one yet. Why does it say battery? Lindor, Ken Griffey Jr. And... Joey Votto, Rainbow. All-star game. Another Votto. Ernie Banks. Got some turkeys, bogs, Mucina, a Brinson and a Wood. And the Casey Mize prospect. Going to Detroit. Derek W. Aaron Judge. Pete. trout here's my question do you get a trout in every box we should start keeping track at least one trout in every single box i'm i'm betting that you do mariano all right this is the last of the hanger boxes Ted says yes. Every single box, you get a Mike Trout. Guaranteed Mike Trout. Trouts and Jeters, Jeters and Trouts. That's what it's all about. Figured the battery thing was just a play on words. Another Randy. Here we go. Let's get those Randys flowing. The Randys flow like wine. Two down. Two for Scott. I always hate the horizontal cards. If there's one thing, if I had one Gavin Lux debut, one request of tops. It would be just enough of the horizontal cards. One here and there, fine. Like 50 out of a set, no. And and definitely not for the main players. Okay, well, let's look. Um, I don't know. Just a clever name. Kendall Graveman. Gold, going to Seattle, Robert H.
Hangers are awesome, man. Hangers are always awesome. Jordan. It's a cool one. The Jordan Turkey. Going to the Astros, Derek W. And here's our number one prospect, Forrest Whitley. For the Astros. Another one going to Derek. And then we'll kind of fly through the back half here. We got a Solak rookie debut. Ken Griffey Jr. That's a cool picture. Jose Iglesias. I like that one. Cunha. Sutsugo. Trace Thompson. Definitely a different set this year. It's different. What do you say we rip a couple of these and just see what it's all about? There's two guaranteed autos. Crashing down on... Man, these are top heavy. Look at that. Well, that's not on the fall anymore. It does have a weird vibe. Card Bros, what's up? I haven't seen an SSP yet. These are weird, man. These are weird too. One pack. One pack in the Platinum. Glaber. So the, the front half here is the stars, semi-stars, there's an Acuna. And then you get a couple of these chartreuse. We got a Goldschmidt. And Blake Walton. Here's our auto coming up next. Should be at least. Let's see who we got. Come on, big money. Come on, baby. He's got a batting helmet on. Michael Toglia. Going to Colorado. Wesley. Wesley got yourself an auto. Congratulations. Now for the prospects. J.J. Bladé. Keep your eye on him. So I read an article about the 2021 top prospects in 2021. I believe Blade was on there on the list. Top 10. Top 10 prospects. For 2021. There's Adley. Alrighty. Let's try this again. Let's do the full the full Monty on here. Triple soak. Boom, boom. Let's get a big banging auto out of this. Come on, baby. For 2021, or was it, like, it's not, it was the prediction of, like, next year who are going to be the top prospects. So it'll be after, like, a bunch of people make their debut, like, the big ones. Like, Wander wasn't on there, but Dominguez was on there. They're thinking Wander's going to play this year, I think, so he's not going to be a prospect anymore. I I predict Wander will be a... A call up after that 15 day thing or whatever to save his service time. Not a guarantee, but not by any means. You tried to calculate the print run of Ben Baller Base, 4K Ben Baller Base. Yeah, that's what I heard, which is very low. I mean, it's not cr compared to like other releases. It's super low. Oh, there's a nice trout going to Roy. Roy's going to have about 75 trouts after this break. All different ones. Lindor, Grinky, Keston. We got a couple chartreuses here with the Chris Bryant. Jaron Duran. And our auto coming up next. You played with Blade's younger 
Younger brother, wow. You're high on Bleday Elkanon, okay. Good to know. Probably gonna be a pitcher here. Ethan Small. That one's going to the Brewers. Jeff, Jeff H with the auto. Congratulations on the auto. Now the prospects. Shoemake, Josh Young, Hunter Bishop, some, some top guys, Joey Bart, Zifrahan, Zephrahan, something like that. And that's about it. All right, let's get this last. Let's get this gallery. Let's get it out of the way. See if we can't find something fancy in here. Todd, what's up? No, I didn't pick up any of that Topps UK edition. I was looking at my cell phone when the announcement came over. And I went and I checked it out, but I just forgot, forgot about it. And then here we are, <laughs> didn't get any, I don't know, man. Like, cause I was thinking, is that stuff going to have any value? They're just like pumping out the releases. It seems like, and then I kind of thought the, um, the, like the Opeachy from back in the late eighties late 80s early 90s like the opichi variations do have quite a bit of value it's tough to say though muncie degrom got a jeter the masters it's a nice one and a walker bueller vlad dropped 50 pounds well good Yeah, dude. Hey, John, as soon as it goes on sale, if you find out about it, email me because I want in on that too. And I missed it last year. Don't know how. Just missed it. I wanted to get in on it and I forgot or something. Elvis Andrews. We got a gold uh, rainbow foil here. Oh, there's a Kyle Lewis rookie. Purple lip Kyle Lewis. Going to Robert. Should we put him on a stand? Haven't seen that one yet. Kind of want to put it on a stand temporarily, at least. We got we got some some serious hits coming up in the break. We've got triple threads and a FOTL contender. So we're gonna have eight guaranteed autos coming up. Couple of sweet relics. Trevor Bauer. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Solaire. It's a nice looking one. Oh, that's nice too. This year's gallery is, the artwork is better than last year for sure. I'm not sure what's coming up next. We've got just so many things. What is this? Tops Gallery Heritage. It's not a real auto, is it? I haven't seen these. That's pretty wild. Hold on, I gotta see what that's all about. Oh, okay, it's just a regular Gallery Heritage 1 out of 7. Okay. Haven't seen one, though. Shed Long. Kind of cool. I kind of like it. But I, I'll put this, even though last year had a better... A better rookie crop, just because it had Tatis in it, mostly. I, this year, I like it better. Master and Apprentice. Was that Judge and Mattingly? Judge and Mattingly. Yeah, go check out Cardboard Connection or Beckett website. They've got a list of all the upcoming releases. I ordered a, I ordered one National Treasures and one, what was the last biggie that came out? Dynasty? I haven't got them yet. So I ordered those for like a big, a big break for some time. Bragman, Rainbow, National Treasures, it's pricey. I can't, 
can't remember how much either of those cost, man. <laughs> Dustin May. Let's go to Blowout and look. I think they're like... They're both really expensive. So it's going to have to be like... I was thinking with those breaks... Last time I did a National Treasures, we did National Treasures and Impeccable... Or Immaculate, sorry. Immaculate and National Treasures, and we had... We only had however many hits there were spots. I don't know if I'm going to do it that way this time, but I want some feedback from you guys. Would you rather do it that way, or would you rather a box of National Treasures be put into a break with other stuff so that you might get one hit or you might not? Because if you just do it with how many cards there actually are, it's going to be really expensive. But you can get it into a $30 break, and we can add like a whole bunch of other boxes in there, and it'll spread it out. Artist Proof Pete and Keston. Matt Olson and Solek. Five to six hundred. Yeah, I mean the stuff is awesome in there though. That's the thing. Like I I couldn't afford to just open that myself, but spreading it out in a break. Yeah, you know, it's 30 bucks, chance to hit a 101. Or awesome relics, awesome autos, high quality everything. Fair. All right, guys. What do you say we hop into this? FOTL. We got the exclusives. We got six guaranteed hits. Stuff's pretty nice. Infusing the good. Scott likes the thirty-dollar breaks. Yeah, that's. It's a key number. It's affordable. You got a chance to get something good, and a and a good chance too. Not just like. It's not like there's one card in there and you have a 1 in 30 chance for 30 bucks. I think NT has like 7 cards or something in it, doesn't it? And with a chance to get more. Sometimes there's hot boxes. Like I said, I haven't watched any this year. But the one we did last year, there were additional cards in the boxes too. So like two people got two cards. Or three. We might have gotten two extra cards in one of the boxes. But if we did a National Treasures, and then, you know, we can add we can add all kinds of other stuff to that to get it up to 30. Here we go. Let's see who we get. This is just the base. Oh, there's the, the beautiful exclusive. Right off the bat, we had to wait till the last pack last time. Here we go. Almost every box you open had, you have seen open had nine cards. Okay. Well, yeah, that'll be nice. What is this? What is this? Alex Verdugo. This is the cracked ice. That's a low number. 23 of 23. I like Verdugo. Going to Michael M. Nice card, buddy. Bought a couple of those Verdugo first autos he seems to be a, like a high average guy if he can get a little bit more power he'll be very collectible Kevin Newman we got our perps here Kevin Newman Josh Bell Acuna and this is our auto it is Junior Martina. Don't know who that is, but he's a shortstop for Washington. So we do know that's going to Brian A. It's the thing about the contenders is I don't know the checklist. A lot of prospects in here. I'm glad it has the team on there, though, because some of them I have to look up because I don't know. Purple Acuna, like that. Back to that. Nolan Jones. A-Rod, legendary. Tatis winning ticket. And a Manny. Thirty bucks. Jim's dumpster fire. Twenty nine ninety nine. Plus shipping. 
We got Rendon, Yelich, Grinky, Rizzo, Alonzo, Posey, Biggio, Hoskins, Harper. Looks like we got an optic here. It is Eloy. I'm pretty high on Eloy. Oh, did you, did you guys see that um, Grisham won a gold glove and Robert won a gold glove? So those are nice. You know, we have to think about this kind of stuff. If you're a long-term collector, I know gold gloves aren't like batting titles or home run titles or anything like that, but it, it matters. Grisham's defensive war was insane. He had a top 20 war in the whole league because of his defense. Springer, Perps, these are the Perps, by the way, Devers, but yeah, Robert being a good defender is very important. The, both of these guys being good defenders, very important for their playing time, especially like if they, you know, sometimes young players can go through these ups and downs, but if they have, if they play solid defense, they'll have a longer leash. Aaron Savali, it's a nice on-card auto there, rookie auto, optic, I like that. Especially as far as pitchers go. It's a nice clean auto too. No streaks. Rookie ticket. Going to George. George V. Nice, buddy. Victor Robles. Yeah, I love him. He's he's really good. He needs to bat leadoff. Every time they bat him leadoff, he crushes. I don't know why they keep putting him at the back of the order. We got our base cards here. Just going through them. Looking for any gems. A purple nip. Purple nips. Not my favorite kind of nips. Yelich. Grinky. And the auto. You're on the Randy train. Riding the Randy train. Slade. What a name. Slade. Kind of like Blade. I don't know where this guy plays. Anybody want to look up Slade Sessioni? Out of Miami? Oh, it looks like Arizona. Potentially Arizona. Christopher E. Because it says pitching was the theme for Arizona, which used its first three selections of the 2020 draft. It's got to be. Got to be going to Arizona. Got to be going to Christopher E. His father's blade. It must be very confusing with the mother calling. Slade! And then Blade answers. I wasn't talking to you, Blade. I was talking to Slade. We've got a wander. Winning tickets. Joe Adele. Future Stars, and a Ricky Henderson Legendary. Blade. Blade is an awesome name. If my name wasn't Stryker, it would be Blade. Love it. We have an optic, Chris Bryant. Disappointing season for Chris Bryant. But I still managed to win my fantasy baseball league, even with spending a whole bunch of money on Chris Bryant. Purple Pete, purple Rizzo, purple Gallo. Looks like a redemption right here. That's That's been a good sign in this stuff because the Lou Bob and the bow are redemptions in here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. It's AJ Puck. The rookie ticket, optic, cracked, ice, AJ Puck. Going to the athletics, Ricky E. Congratulations, Ricky. Hopefully you get that in a timely manner. Hopefully they pump that out for you. But that's your cracked ice, man. So that's going to be a beauty when you get it. 
Asa Lacey, Andrew Vaughn, and Dylan Carlson. I'm so looking to ser Series 1. I mean, it's going to be fire. 2021 Series 1 is going to be sick. They're going to make a lot of it, too. That's the problem. Not so much that it's actually going to be a problem, but... And maybe it won't be a problem, because people will be able to buy it, and find it, and collect it. Maybe. You never know. Javi Baez. This one's numbered to 149. A little foil action. Uh, there's not a date yet for the Bowman Transcendent Party. Because of all the nonsense. Lance Lynn, Soroka, Villar, which, surprisingly stopped today which i predicted as a matter of fact but we're not going to talk about that Villar, who's the auto oh suit sugo 1999 draft ticket that's an on-card auto number to 33 whoa that's pretty nice i like it that one's going to scott scott b Look at that one. Number to 33. That's unexpected. Getting another low-numbered auto. I, I'm wondering if that's not some kind of a case hit. Very cool. Sutsugo. He must have got drafted to the Giants or something. I don't know. Oh, is it going to... Yeah, that would go to the Giants, wouldn't it? No, it says Tampa Bay. Why does it say San Francisco? It says San Francisco there, Tampa Bay back here, and he's in his Tampa Bay jersey. So it's got to go to Tampa Bay. That's pretty gnarly. Maybe it's, that must just be where he got drafted. In 99, San Francisco must have drafted him. Atlanta and Max Meyer. Cards, I think they're going to, I think Series 2 is going to be all about Wander. This is just a bold-ass prediction by me, but that's what I'm thinking. I don't think they're going to hold any of the guys out that we wanted in Update for Series 2. I think they're going to cram them all in, just like they did last year. All the guys that we wanted in Update last year, they waited and they put them all in Series 1. Jordan and Bo and Lux and all that. So I think they'll do the same thing. Everybody who played this last year is going to go into Series 1. And then there's going to be some guys that start the season off on the big squad that aren't going to get cards in Series 1 that we're going to want in Series 1, and they're going to put those in Series 2. Wander might be an Update. He might not even come up. I don't know. I just, I think he's going to. I think he's going to be a Series 2 guy. I'm not going to bet my life on it, but it's just my gut feeling. Yoshi, yeah, he's old. Ooh, we got two of these. We got another Verdugo. That's an optic. Regular optic. Another one going to Michael. Purples, J.D., Otani, Chris Bryant, and the auto. Alika Williams. People's names these days. Alika Williams. Where, where are we going with this one? Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay card, going to Scott. Every once in a while, these little soft sleeves will have a little black thing on them. I don't know what that is. I just toss them in the trash, though, when I see one. Straight out of the pack. Fresh pack. More rays, yeah. 
I think the print run on Series 1 will be in line with what it was this year, which was a lot. Will they make more of it? Tough to say. But I don't think they're going to make less. even Because they had a huge, you know, the, the thing this year was the huge million card rip. So they ripped through a bunch of them right off the bat, but a million cards isn't really a lot. It seems like a lot, but with the amount they produced, it wasn't that much. Okay. All right, so here's the plan. I'm going to do... So we got four blaster boxes now. I'm going to do two, then we'll do the triple threads, and then I'll do two more to finish it off. Sound good? I'm just going to get funny. We'll just do the soak with this character right here. Yeah, everybody forgot about the golden ticket thing because there is no golden ticket party. What a crack. What if you won a golden ticket, man? Right now, you'd just be like, oh! Plus, there's going to be a bunch of golden tickets that nobody ever finds, or they don't find till years later, because a lot of people hold on to wax. I'm going to hold on to some Series 1 for sure. I don't know what exactly. I'll probably hold a couple of a couple of hobbies and maybe a jumbo and some some retail. Julio Teran. Some people call him Teheran. Got the numbers game, Cal Ripken Jr. 2021's a platinum ticket. Oh yeah, I know Elkanon. Could you imagine spending like 30k on one of those, or, or even like 5k, or like a hundred bucks? <laughs> you know, like they're worthless if there is no party, unless they reimburse you or something. Man, Top should go all out for the people that got golden tickets, and they should take all the money that they're gonna spend or that they were gonna spend on that fancy party. And give something to the golden ticket people. I bet you they'd be happy with just some, like a case of wax or something. Rather than nothing. Or extending it another year or something. The Forrest Whitley. First prospect. And the Mookie Turkey. It's got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? The Mookie Turkey. Let's go. Get it pumped up. I hope you're trolling me, Matt. I hope you're trolling me. Because Saturday is such a weird day to do it. I doubt they do it on a Saturday. Possible though. Chris Davinsky, Rainbow Foil, going to Houston. And the Bryce, 85. We got a Yamaguchi. Cy Sneed. So many no name rookies in here. Turner. All right, let, let's get, so we got a rainbow foil out of here. That's nice, but what we really want is an SP. Or I suppose an auto. I'd rather have an SP than an auto this year, to be honest with you. I know, same same thing, Mike. Yeah, 
I think it, it's going to be a Randy. But alas, just a Jose Martinez. 20 years of the captain. Clevenger. The 2011 home run derby. Cano, Mr. Cano. Mr. Kanish. Baseball Ben says, yeah, I know. There's guys who, well, there's a lot of guys in here that haven't played in big in the bigs in a while. For one reason or another, whether it's the all-star throwbacks or whatever. I mean, they put Bartola Colon in here as a free agent. It's like, uh... Couldn't get anybody else on there? Bo, the rookie debut, Bo. I, I haven't seen a lot of him. I know that it's just a regular card, but this is the first this is the first Bo. Out of all these. So out of everything I opened, which was all on camera, and out of all of the stuff we opened tonight, it's the first Bo rookie debut. I'm going to put him on his very own stand because I love him. Yeah, no fake news in here, by the way. Matt, if that was fake news, shame on you. Shohei. Kind of cool. I, I don't know. I kind of like that one, that pose. Old man McCutcheon just making the rounds. Look at how old he is in the face. Looks like father time. The exclusive coin card. We're going to have four coin cards, guys. I'll open it backwards. No cheating. Oh, it's, that's going to you, John. You sure, man? Boom. Scherzer. I, I hate I hate to do that because I'll find one. I'm, I'm just going to send it to you because I'm going to open up more of this and I'll, I'll find a few of them, okay? I, I do appreciate that. So we got Scherzer, the commemorative coin. Let's just give this a good old-fashioned judging. What do you guys think of the coin cards? I want to know your honest opinion. I don't want to, like, influence you, but I like them. I like them a lot better than some of the most more recent ones. The commemorative or the manufactured relics. Add it to the bow? All right, brother. Appreciate you. You love... John loves them. Both Johns love them. Usually like the patches. Well, here's the thing. The, you're not going to get, like, out of the blaster boxes, you're not going to get a patch out of there. They're all just manufactured things. So it's either going to be, it's going to be something like this, a manufactured all-star game, or just something stupid. Usually they're they're not collectible. The only, yeah, I you're not going to get a good one, like an actual piece of the jersey. It's all going to be manufactured. The rookie medallion, yeah, sports kids, I'm glad you brought that up. The rookie medallions were very cool. I liked those a lot. So there's a lot of good ones you can get. They were nostalgic. So I liked those probably better than these. But these are cool looking. The design is nice. The colors are nice. It's got that clear thing over it right there. So just, I don't know. As far as manufactured relics go, which I'm not usually a fan, those are nice. All right, number two. Man, does this one feel heavy. Holy cow. Maybe they're all that heavy. Yeah, they're all that heavy. It's, the, it's those coins, those coin cards. I wonder if you can find them signed. Would it say? Yeah, it would say right here. Somewhere, right? Yeah. Black, gold, red. Oh, yeah, you can. Look at auto. One out of 754. That's cool. I like that. You can get them autoed, too. And parallels. So, I don't know how collectible they'll be, but... 
I mean, I don't know. I got the robber, and that's just PC, you know. Put in the PC. Looking for an SP. Come on, SPs. The fact that we haven't seen any SPs yet makes me think that these are hard to pull. Ethan Small. For the Brewers. In 2016, they had heavy medallions. Yeah. Yeah, they put those heavy ones in there. Which, I don't think that's a good decision. If I, okay, another one. If I was working for Tops, a lot of these things, but if I was working for Tops, I'd be like, listen, I would calculate the amount of money that they have to spend on shipping because it's got to cost them a lot of extra money based on the weight of those things for shipping. They could probably save like a million dollars in shipping if they just didn't put those heavy coins in there. Now, they maybe they put them in there for a perceived value. Heavy means value a lot of times in different things. So it's possible that they plan this all out and they weighed it weighted it in the like value versus money versus perceived value i don't know but griffey jr turkey reds Derek w you found a black lou bob to 199 whoa a guy offered you a buck 25 for it Good, good selling there, buddy. <laughs> That's a good price you got there. Oh, that's a nice one. I like that, that gold. Cal Ripken Jr., gold. Going to Wesley. 1145 a 2020. That's cool. Followed up by the old man, chrome turkey, Andrew McCutcheon. Just look at him. That one's going to Joey. We got an Albies. Is anybody else exhausted? It's just, I mean, raking leaves today all day. And the stress of the world. It's just exhausting lately. I'm glad we could come together and focus on some baseball. Will says yes. Yes. Everybody's Okay. I, I kind of got the, the feeling that everybody's exhausted right now. Guys, we got something real nice back here, I think. I don't know exactly what it is, and maybe it's not really nice. I don't know what that is, but... It looks like something different, something special. And and these cards are upside down too. You almost went to bed two hours ago. Dude, I took a little nap. I tried to at least, but you went kayaking today. That sounds awesome. Native card guy. Christmas lights up today. Great idea, Brewers fan. All right, what is this, guys? What is this? Oh, uh, I thought it, man, these ones are going to throw me off this year. I saw that yellow and I thought that was some kind of a numbered card. Well, it's a Ricky Henderson and it's going to Oakland. Nothing too crazy. You're a triathlete, always tired. Yeah, I'll bet, man. Triathlete. Holy cow. Ashley. Triathlete. That's an amazing feat. Just thinking about that makes me tired. So I got a plan with my leaves this year. This might sound ridiculous, but the leaves are like gold. I'm making, it, I'm making them into compost for next year's garden. Planning ahead. You got to plan ahead when you garden. Piling up the leaves. I ran over them with the lawnmower. So it was an extra step today. Raking the leaves, putting them on the tarp, hauling them into the backyard running them over with a lawnmower, and then raking them into a pile again, into the compost pile. Jordan, rookie debut. I really like that. 
that card. It's got to be the cup. Because normally rookie debuts, I'm just like, eh, it's cool. But but I really like that one. I don't know. Derek, hitting him. Steven painted all day. Fell asleep. 6.30 to 7.30. Yeah. I know, man. I tried to take just the slightest nap, but my daughter wasn't having it. I was laying on the couch with her. She's laying there watching TV. She just wanted to get up and play. Had to go put the helmets on and run around pretending we were playing a war. We got a Yordan. Another nice little turkey. I think that's the second one, isn't it? For Derek. Ken Griffey Jr. Haven't seen as many Ken Griffey Juniors. I mean, I was pulling them out of every box. Two of them out of every box, it seemed like. Will says it was 70 degrees. He went golfing. Yeah, it was about 70-something degrees here, too, in Michigan. So we spent the day outside. There's the Aquino rookie debut. First time seeing that one. Going to the Reds. Derek. Getting in on the action again. And a Zach Grinky rainbow. I didn't go out golfing once this year. It was a weird year. I mean, I didn't do hardly anything. Because I don't like going out and having to wear a mask. I can't breathe. I have asthma. I put a mask on, I can't breathe. What do you want me to do? So I'll just stay here. <laughs> but yeah, didn't go out golfing once this year. I'm not an avid golfer. I do like to go out with my friends though and, you know, have it make a day of it a couple times a year, a few times a year. Get out to the range a few times a year, you know, get the swing working. You have to play golf while you're, yeah, that's, that's the goal, man. Get out there, have a couple cocktails with your buddies. Mackenzie Gore. Well, yeah. Yeah, John, I mean, here in Michigan, everywhere it's different. Everywhere it's different. Buster Posey coin card. Going to the Giants. Going to David. David H. Buster Posey. All right. We got three boxes left, guys. We got the triple threads and two more blasters. I'm going to leave this up to you. What do you want me to do first? Should we, should we bust into the triple or wait till the very end? I mean, we're kind of on a roll with the update. Your, it's your choice. Put it in the chat. What do you think we should do? I need a couple of confirmations. Two or three of them. Three is good, but we'll see. John Brady wants trips. Wait till the end for the trips. Trips. Update. Okay, so we got, I think, blasters. One. You guys want to wait for the triple. Okay. Okay. I like, wait, I like saving the best for last, usually. But if you guys demand it, then I will change. But I like the people to decide. Yeah, it's weird, man, with the mask. Like, I almost had a panic attack. I don't have pan. I've never had a panic attack. That's not something that's in my... I don't... It just doesn't happen. It never has. But I literally, I cannot breathe. And I, my, my brain just goes, can't breathe. And like heart rate starts going crazy. Start getting flush. Almost fell down. It's crazy. Had to go to the doctors for it and everything. They gave me a lung test, a lung function test. Just had to do that not too long ago to see what the problem was. Sutsugo.
Nolan Ryan for the Rangers. Hmm. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Alcanon. I know that that exists, but they they will crack down on that, dude. Like, I mean, like eBay does keep track of that. If there's someone shill bidding constantly on somebody's stuff, they'll kick you off of eBay. So I don't know how widespread of a problem it is, or if you could just like sign up for another account. I don't think it's that easy. I think they have your IP address. They can keep track of that. Like you can get away with it probably once, but if you're bidding on the same person's thing over and over trying to do that, they'll catch you. It's a timing thing too, man. When you're selling cards, it's it's very based on timing. Like when the when the release comes out, you want to sell your card immediately to get top dollar. Mackenzie Gore, if you can, and then the longer you wait, it'll go down. But it can also be a bad time to sell. Like, imagine selling a bunch of Rosarinas or Kyle Lewis's, like good ones, autos and things like that, and getting nothing for them. If you would have sold immediately, that's what would have happened. So it's not, it just depends on who, who you're selling. And are they a rookie? I rarely will sell rookie cards right away. What's up, Trevor? Angie wondering, did I miss anything? You missed everything. Just kidding. You haven't missed anything. Because we got triple threads coming up. There's a little stage there full of jewels. But I'll show you. I'll show you at the end. Battery baths left and right. Lincecum. We got a coal turkey. And another one of these Yordans. First thought is best card in the set. With Pokemon, you always get comp prices. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you about Pokemon. I just, I don't know anything about it. Yeah, that's the problem. It's, it's more than 10%, man. eBay takes like between 10 and 15%. It all varies. It all depends. But then on top of that, there's a processing fee that you got to pay. Another 3%. So if you sell your stuff on eBay, not making a ton of money. Aquino? Because they're just, everybody gets their cut, man. And that's the problem with these breaks is when it's like $1,000 worth of cards, they're taking 3% of the $1,000. For the processing fee not your profit they're not taking three percent of your profit which is minuscule they're taking three percent of the whole price that's why the card game is tough there's just such a tiny little margin collectibles in general a lot of times depending on how they produce it the, the only people that are making money in cards typically are the distributors and the, the main company. Yeah, 13% is more in line, Alcanon. If you can get a discount, if you if you're a power seller, uh, a top rated seller, you can get like a 10 or 15 percent discount off of the final value fee price. So that 13 percent take 15 percent off of that. So it's down to like 11.5% or something like that of the fees. It's hardly nothing. And you have to be, you have to have a spotless, perfect, 100% record, pretty much. Like you can, they allow like one mistake. You have to get everything shipped out within a day. Like if you make one mistake, man, they'll take your top rated seller status away and you don't get any discounts on your fees or anything. I'm a eBay power seller. Like I, I sell, I've, I've, I've sold stuff on eBay for a living for like 15 years or so, 2004, so 16 years. 100% positive feedback. I work hard for that, man. And the only thing you get really is just a, a small savings on your fees, maybe a little bit more visibility. 
Akiyama Chrome. It's a tough living. Another one of those Griffies. I've seen quite a few of those. No, I was doing I was doing it for uh, my family business. I was selling stuff online for them for uh, probably like twelve of those years or something, two thousand four to two thousand fourteen, ten years at least. So I'd sell collectibles and other things like all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff, candy, cherry juice, statues. You name it. Floral supplies, <laughs> like like fish food. I would make up, dude, you won't even believe this one. Straw. I sold straw. Straight up straw, like from a field. I would sell boxes of straw. And people would buy it like crazy because it was scotch barley straw special straw that you put in a pond so there's a net i'd include a net a special net in each box and it would be a 10 pound or 15 pound box of straw big box and you know not i think it was like maybe 20 bucks i'd sell this big box and cost like 15 bucks to ship to make five bucks it's nothing you know but people would put it in their koi ponds and it's a it's a way to keep the algae growth low I don't know if anybody's ever heard of that, but yeah, you can put scotch barley straw in your algae ponds or in your koi ponds and you won't have algae problems. What? Another Buster Posey? Get out of here. Two Buster Poseys? Coin cards? <laughs> David, you're Posey rich. Posey rich, baby. Well, I'd ship it through UPS. The pr you know what the problem was? Running out of boxes to ship it in. Because you had to have a certain size box. If it was too big, it would be oversized shipping. And it couldn't be too small because straw is really lightweight. You had to pack it in there. It had to be a big box. But yeah, I made my own... Co special koi food too I'd, I'd sell koi food the third randy three randys it's a randy spree i'd get all these fancy types of koi food and mix them together and get different sizes because that was one thing you couldn't get you could either get the big nuggets or the tiny little nuggets maybe there's a kind in between i don't know but i'd mix it all together and it would be like a special blend and I'd sell that. People liked it. Because, like, there's different size koi. So why not have different size pellets? Nate Pearson. Prospect card. Williams here. Well, come on in and join the show. Join the party. We're having a good time. Opening some update. Not the best product in the world, but it's baseball. It's new. It's fun to open cards and hang out. Look at Mark McGuire in the 99 home run derby when he was peak juice. Look at that head, big old head. Fake Sutsugo. Or, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fake a Rosarina. Should we start calling Jose Martinez discount a Rosarina? Discount Randy? Discount Randy. Yeah, dude, you can sell fresh duck. You can sell anything if it's legit, you know? Like if you had some good quality dirt, some good quality soil with uh, worm castings and good bacteria growth in there from a good part of the country, high in nutrients, I guarantee you could sell boxes of dirt. David Ortiz. Dirt's expensive, man. Go buy a... Dude, dirt's like 20 bucks a bag. You could for sure sell dirt. Another Jordan. 
That's why I'm working so hard making compost. Dirt's expensive. Nico. Plus, it's good to, you know, recycle your your stuff if you can. Food scraps, things like that. Rather than sending it to the dump. Trevor says, found a Bowman Platinum, 50 bucks from Myers. Yeah, yep. One auto per box. We opened up two of them earlier. It's a Tom Seaver. Tom Seaver turkey. Where are the SPs? Where are though those elusive SPs? You thought they were 40, uh, they're 40, 45, 99, I think, plus tax. So that gets you at about 50. Depending on where you get them, Meyer jacks up the price by 10% on all the cards. At least around me, they do. So all of these were from Meyer, and they were 11.49 for the hanger boxes and like 22 bucks for the blasters. But it's the only place I could find them. I went to the card store. He didn't even have his update. I don't know why this stuff is so hard to find if they're playing games or what. but Or just if it's the the shutdown. Lizardo and Semyon. William says Walmart was full of cards today. Stocked full of platinum, gallery, and update. And you noticed that the prices were slightly higher. Yeah, dude, I went to Walmart and they didn't have any update. They had... We got Solak there. They had um, that's where I, I got my uh, I got my Bowman Platinum from Walmart. So that was I don't know whatever forty five ninety nine plus tax. But they didn't have any update. They didn't have they had some other stuff that people got. Like I told you, there were four guys there waiting in line at seven a.m. I got there at six forty five, and there were four dudes there waiting. And they got, I didn't, this is all I bought. I bought four boxes of that platinum. Ken Griffey Jr. I left the rest for the kids or for whoever else wanted it. Adolis Garcia, gold. Another one of those bat coming forward. It's kind of cool. John says Redskins, uh, sorry. John says Montgomery Club going on sale around the 14th of this month. If they stick to the same thing as last year. Oh, it's just a local card store around me, dude. I don't even know if it has a name. <laughs> it's like it, it's like the freaking Pulp Fiction pawn shop where they keep the gimp. Oh, sweet, Scott. Appreciate that. Yeah, dude. I mean, I love I love this stuff. I love it. I love it. And that's another reason why I don't do a ton of breaks. Because the more breaks you do, the less you love it, and the more it just turns into like a monotonous, same old thing over and over. That's an, that's also why I do these mixers where we do all different kinds of cards. It keeps it fresh. It keeps it exciting. There's a trout. So a trout per box. Has it been holding true? Trout per box. I don't know if we got one that last box. I, I lost track. There's not been... Oh, I take that back, dude. I did get some mosaic. They did have mosaic there. I forgot about that. I got three boxes of mosaic. Hanger boxes. Because all the guys were like, okay, let's split it all up. And the Grisham. The first Grisham out of the... Out of the break. Good to see. Going to Kenny B. Um, I'm not going to put him on a stand right now. No, I'll put him on there with Jordan. The, the Jordan debut. Because we got, we got a bunch of hits coming up. There's the Joe Adele. Prospect. Mosaic is stocked every week by you? 
What? Ken Griffey Jr., Gerard Dyson. Every week, wow. And you gotta be the first in the door. Do people split it up? Around me, everybody's civil. Like, there's a bunch of people waiting. It's just understood that we'll all just split it equally. Nobody's fighting and feuding and brawling. Clayton Claus, coin relic. Going to the Dodgers, Matthew B. Dude, Walgreens, I'm, I'm mad. I've spent a lot of time talking to the guy that orders cards there. Trying to get it set up so that they get the Walgreens cards. I haven't found any Walgreens exclusive cards in a surrounding area of like 50 miles. Nobody has them. They don't carry them. So I talked to the guy. I'm like, dude, I will buy all of them. However many you can get. It'll be good for you. It'll be good for me. Everybody wins, brother. I even took the... You know how on the back here? Let me show you. So on the back of these, they've got that number and a barcode. I even found on the internet the Walgreens, like a picture of the Walgreens box and everything with the number and the barcode so he could scan it in and do all that stuff. It just has never came, has never came to fruition. Double soak. Clayton Claus and Trevor Claus. Come on, baby. Give us something good. Let's get a huge one to finish off the show. What do you know? A one of one to finish off the show. How about that? That's what I want. Yeah, I just desperately want... I, I want to open some for myself, too, man. Like, I just... Because I like... The hanger boxes, and that's what they get there. They get the hanger boxes. I want the Walgreens exclusive hanger boxes. I want to open them for myself, and I want a gold bow. A Walgreens gold bow. But I refuse to pay, like, triple the price or whatever on online. You did damage at Walgreens this year. Oh, nice. Bought them all up. Okay. Should we just let that? Yeah, let, let's let this guy soak here for a minute. Let's let Clayton do his job. Let him soak on there. Okay, we got to put our stoppers in, our little blockers, so, so we don't get a early preview of what we're going to look at. All right, Cabrera, the base cards, Baez, Hank Aaron, The good stuff. I know. I love this stuff, man. Last year it was in the top 10. I think it was like number three or something of my best releases of the year. I took all of the different factors into account. Here we go. Oh, it's a triple auto. Dude, that's sick. That's nasty. Yachty, Goldschmidt, and Jack Flaherty. Triple Relic, Triple Auto. Let's go. Jordan. Going to Jordan. Dude, I like that. Should that go in the Hall of Hits? That's numbered to 18. Three different relics, too. That's a different material than that gray. And the light blue is beautiful. Sheboygan, says Elkanon. I love it. Triple the fun. Walgreens will only have two to three hangers stocked at once. Yeah, the dude, while I was standing there, man, he had his little scanner thing, and he found it on his scanner. He's like, okay, I put the order in. We'll see. No, they never came in. All right, here we go. The relic. What's it going to be? It's a thicky. It's a real thicky. Ding. Oh, it's just world champion Patrick Corbin, number to 18. Wow, these low-numbered hits are fabulous. 
Patrick Corbin going to the Nationals. Brian. Congratulations, Brian. Beautiful red relic. Okay, now we got some parallels. Oh, that's a good one. The locks parallel to 50. Two of 50, not bad. Going to Matthew B. It's a nice card. Solid. And an Arenado. To 199. Going to the Rockies, Wesley D. Nice box. Box number one was nice. Box number two, been soaking for a while. Let's see if Clayton Gravy does the trick. I don't know, that triple auto there in the first box. It's gonna be tough to beat. But let's find a one of one. Someone pulled a Mike Trout bat knob. Oh man, but wow, wow. Barnes and Nobles has cards? What? William, I'm gonna have to go track down Barnes and Nobles in the bad part of town. I didn't know they had cards. Are they more expensive there? Seems like they charge more because they charge more for everything else. Come on, 101. Oh, 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 guys, we got something nasty down there. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> this is this is a great box. I knew I knew something good was gonna happen. Oh, are you guys ready? Oh, man, we got something good down there. Reggie Jackson. Oh, and a Kyle Lewis rookie. Okay. Okay. Robert. Having a pretty nice Kyle Lewis day. Ricky Henderson. Oh, you saw it. You saw it. You saw it. Let's see what it is here. We got a book. We got a book. I don't even know how to open this. see oh this is my first book guys out of here oh baby oh baby oh gosh who's it gonna be P come on put a guess in the comments guys who do you think this book's gonna be i don't even know what the checklist for books is can we have a is there some kind of way to give a sneak peek look here i'll just Turn it this way. Anything in there to see? I don't know. We've got, oh, Babe Ruth. No, man, that'd be sick. Randy, Soto, Robert, Bo, Acuna, Trout, Flaherty, Joe Carter, Pete Rose. Okay. Okay, I'm going to open it up. You ready? Oh my gosh, look at that patch. Oh my. Oh, it's a Bryce. One of three. Oh, that patch is nasty. Oh man, that's beautiful. Triple. Wow. That is. That's one of the nicest collection of patches I've ever seen. I've ever pulled for sure. Wow. Congratulations. Who's got the Phillies? Joey B, baby. Mm, mm, mm. That's your son's, John? Oh, sweet dude. Congratulations. Wow, I can't stop looking at that. That is awesome. Two major, major beautiful patches there. And then a little pinstripe number next to it. Wow. Whew. How do we even stand? How do we even put that in a stand? 
It's going to take a double. I don't think I have any special stand cases, but I'll figure something out to secure that in the mail. Wow. Congratulations, man. That's amazing. Yeah, he's got to be going nuts. Okay, there's still another, there's still something else in here. Okay, let's keep, there's two, there's three more things. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, baby. Oh, it's the Grisham. Awesome. 36 of 36, eBay 101. Let's go. Kenny B. Nice. Nice, man. This Triple Threads box has been a banger. This is the best Triple Threads box I've ever seen. With the, the booklet and then the Triple Auto. We got a... Our Relic was even really good. Let's keep it going. We got two left. We got the George Springer to $2.99. Last but not least, Tatis, baby. Tatis to $99. There's uh, the top of the card is got some hangers there. I don't know what that's all about. I don't think it's a big deal. I think you can probably just take those right off of there. But I don't want to mess with it. Tatis to 99. No Harper books. Yeah, there's only three of them in the world. They might still all be buried. Boom, baby. Wow. Triple threads coming in clutch. One of the best products of the year. I can feel it already on the top 10 list. Triple Threads is going to be up there. Well, guys, let's look at the bounty. We'll start in the back. We've got this Verdugo. Beautiful. Cracked ice to 23. eBay 101. 23 of 23. Got a nice little Mother's Day. Andy Burns. Number to 50. That's that's a solid pull. How many Randys could you possibly pull? How about four of them? How about four Randys out of just some retail stuff? That'll do. We've got the Toglia Auto and the Ethan Small Auto out of that Bowman Platinum stuff. Ended up pulling the Kyle Lewis out of Gallery. Thanks, Scott. Junior Martina. Junior Martina Auto. We ended up with a bow, rookie debut. Alika Williams. This was a nice surprise. The Suit Sugo to 33. Didn't expect that. We got the Cracked Ice Redemption for AJ Puck. Slade, son of Blade, Slade. Savale, contender's optic. Should be numbered, not, not numbered though, but it is on card. It's a nice card. And a regular straight up Grisham rookie. We got a couple of these Jordan debuts. Best card in the set. And then coming in, clutch style the triple threads we got two hall of hits cards there's one the corbin to 18 and the book oh, look at that one of three one more one more delicious stare down And the Trent Grisham. Boom, baby. Glorious. Well, I had fun. I'm exhausted. I know you are too. We're gonna do we're gonna do some more next week. Middle of the week. Do a break in the middle of the week. Shoot me an email. Send me a message through Patreon. All the slammers watching. Let me know what you want to rip next week. I think I'm going to do something a little special next week. Maybe we'll do that National Treasures. If you guys want to, we'll do a little bit of a higher-end break next week. Maybe we'll just do one. I don't know. 
Just depends on the demand. But maybe we'll do that National Treasures and mix in some other stuff so we get some cards. Try to keep it around 30, 40 bucks. Something like that. I don't know if that, I don't know how much we can cram in there for that price, but we'll see. It'll be fun. Thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you all later.